Okay, so I think I'm ready again now. Um, let me see. Oh yes, the thing that I was really coming out here to talk about, I guess, was um, <coughs> ED issues. Um, I guess you could sort of say I've been doing a lot better because I haven't been purging nearly as much as I was. Um, but as a result, uh, my mood has kind of gone a little to shit. Um, I was at the psychologist, I think it was Monday, actually, this Monday, and I was talking to him about, you know, how I felt like there wasn't really, like, much of a point to anything, and I kind of felt, you know, what the hell was I doing here, and, you know, does my life mean anything, and blah, 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 and he was, you know, he's been saying how he thinks this is more of an existential thing, and I mean, I kind of realized that, um, just meaning that, um, this, this depression I'm going through is more of a, a phil philosophical crisis, which is interesting because I'm taking philosophy this term. Hopefully that'll be helpful, you know, rather than detrimental. Um, philosophy is something that can be really depressing, but if you try to look at it from a more positive light, hopefully it won't be, it won't be that bad, because I really don't want to make anything worse. Um, but he got me to take this depression test thing, and he skimmed over the results a little bit before I left, and he was like, this, this looks like moderate, but, you know, I'll have to do the calculations. I was like, oh, great. Apparently I'm moderately depressed, or I, you know, had been for that, that period of time that the survey was asking me about, which was, you know, two weeks. Um, I was thinking over the test, you know, nitpicking it in my head, going, well, there were some variables which I probably I marked as like a three, which I probably should have marked as a two, and blah, 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 trying to tell myself that I really wasn't that depressed. But <clears throat> I don't really know how true that is. Um, I I kind of have to make myself believe that something matters. Like I, I almost like I have to fool myself into believing it because otherwise I can't function and I don't want to do my schoolwork at all. And it's pretty interesting that if nothing matters, then my school would upset me. But it's more of an anxiety thing because my depression seems to come hand in hand with anxiety pretty often, and I get really anxious about, you know, if I'm not doing well in school, then my whole life is going to fall apart and I'm going to end up self-destructing again and I'm going to end up in some sort of shitty fast food job again that I will have to keep because I can't do school and I can't do anything and I'm useless. So that's the kind of thoughts that go through my head if I'm not doing okay in school and I'm really not able to put my full effort into it. And so I think it's the anxiety, honestly, that, that drives me to have this need to care about something, like, need to make myself believe that something matters. Um, because the truth is, I, I'm not sure I really think anything matters, essentially, and, you know, in that philosophical way, um, anything at all in terms of, you know, the world, humanity, the universe, even. And I have no fucking idea how this is gonna get resolved. I really don't know. I, I mean, can it? Lots of philosophers have struggled with that kind of question and come up with their own answers to it, but I don't know. I don't know how possible that is. And the other thing is that, that about the ED thing is that lately I'm having more freak out about food. Um, I went to dinner last night with my friends, and you know, it was a good sociable time, but man, I, I finished the pasta when I really shouldn't have because I was absolutely stuffed. Like, it hurt. And it was really, really upsetting to me. If I could have gone into the bathroom and purged it at that moment, I would have. But I can't do it in public restaurant bathrooms anyway. And uh, the other thing is that I have friends with me who, you know, either were or are bulimic themselves, or they know that I have been eating disordered. So it's not like they, they wouldn't have suspected something if, you know, I'd gone right after the meal and stayed there a long time, yada, yada, yada. Um, so I don't do it in public anyway. Like I can't, I can't do it in a public washroom. I'm too afraid that someone will come in. The only couple times I've tried it, I've you know, it has been for like a minute that someone come in, someone has come in, and I haven't been able to finish. So I was really, really pissed at myself. So I came home and I started exercising, trying to burn off some calories. Uh, I really didn't get very far with the calorie burning because I'm extremely out of shape and exercise hurts lately and I'm not really sure why because even when I was out of shape before it didn't bother me as much as it does now and so a couple hours passed and I was really really thirsty so I drank some water and then my stomach just chock full I was like fuck this so I went and I purged 
and I guess you could technically say that not that much came up, but a fair bit, considering how long ago I had eaten that meal, came up. And I didn't feel as full, which was the main thing. So today, I'm supposed to go to dinner with a couple of friends because one of my friends is going away from town for many months. And this is like his final weekend extravaganza thing. He's doing things all weekend just to have fun with his friends or whatever. And so tonight, uh, which is the only one I really, you know, considered going to or really could go to, uh, involves going out to dinner at a restaurant with a lot of greasy, greasy food and pasta. And so, um, I was, I was very seriously considering not going because I really, really don't want to eat that shit. But, I don't know, I talked to, well, I talked to Maria. Hi, Maria! And, um, sorry. Um, you know, I know I'm being irrational, and I know they probably have semi-healthy things on the menu. I know they have vegetarian options and shit like that, but I just, I didn't really want to go. But I kind of already said that I would, so I do kind of have to, and it's, I mean, I've been hanging out with this guy a lot lately, and he's, he's always been nice to me, and it's, you know, it's kind of mean of me not to go just because I don't want to have to deal with food, right? So, and, and I mean, I could see myself, like, staying at home and, like, be peeing or something tonight if I don't go. Which, you know, probably isn't very healthy. Not that I wouldn't like to, mind. Um, but, yeah. I still think I'm fat. I always think I'm fat, but it stops mattering to me for periods of time, and then... I guess when my anxiety gets really bad, I realize afresh how fat I really am, and I go, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm so fucking fat, I'm so fucking fat, ah, and I freak out, but <laughs> I never seem to do much about it, so maybe, I don't know, maybe it doesn't really matter as much, but I think it's an anxiety symptom, and if I could just, <laughs> if my depression and anxiety would just go away, I probably wouldn't even need ED to begin with, but the fact of the matter is, it's been with me since I was 14 or 15, at least the dysthymia and the, the anxiety and all of it, and it's really not going to be a quick fix. I mean, I'm 22, so this has been going on for our seven or eight years, and, you know, ED hasn't been nearly as long, but things that have been, the longer something is around, the longer it will take to get out of it, and I often wonder if maybe there's some kind of chemical component, and maybe all the, the psychological therapies in the world won't truly help unless, unless I go on some kind of medication. Sometimes I think that too, but then I really don't want to be on medication, so I never, I never go to a doctor, and I never ask for anything, and I never, even though I think benzos would help, because I've noticed lately that uh, binging and purging seems to kind of have the same effect, at least for a little bit, as a benzo might. It, it really makes me calm, and and, well, okay, confession time, I've been smoking a little bit of weed lately, and weed has the same effect also. It's just this total calming, my limbs go slack, and my thoughts don't exist, and I just kind of sit there like I'm melting into a chair or couch or wherever I am, and that's the kind of feeling that ED can give you. Now, I, I do find that restriction makes me more anxious, which maybe is a reason why I can't sit in that, that zone for very long, because I just start thinking, what the fuck am I doing to myself? I'm making everything worse. I feel like such shit, yada yada, and I just, I can't do it. I don't know. I feel rather like a failure at points that I can't do it, but, you know, I guess we all do. All of us who have restricted, I mean. Um, I know this video is getting really, really long. And so, I guess I'll end it, but, um, yeah, I haven't been keeping up with YouTube videos as much as I should. Um, I've probably missed a lot of good videos. If something really important has happened or whatever and you really think I should watch, then do feel free to send me the video. I won't get offended. Like, I haven't been watching nearly as many as I should. I know that. So, anyway, I hope you're all doing a little better than me anyway. Bye.